Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time, we got a, a, a fishbowl so we could traverse the coldness and the emptiness of space. This time, we're going to the coldness and emptiness of space in Chapter 4 1. No title. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now that we have a fishbowl, we can survive in a vacuum. Uh, I, I I don't know how that works. I also don't know why there's an Olimar antenna on top of a fishbowl. Also, a skip tippy. Very well, let's go then. The pure heart is somewhere in the sea of stars. Okay, okay, but let's. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> that was a a mispress. Uh, Carrie, there we go. Will she work in space? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so we're in space now. <laughs> That's something. Honestly, it, I'm kind of done with the uh, water-esque levels. What, what is that? What is that? Oh no! <laughs> Mayans did discover space travel. <laughs> they were right. <laughs> it's 2012 all over again. There's something here. What in the world is this? Why was this hidden here? It's a spaceship, I think. Hmm, is this a spaceship? Looks rather like it. It's the man on- Oh, it's not the man on. It's- It's Emrakul! <laughs> Squirp! Squirple, Squirple Swinks! Morning, Squirp! Oh dear, who are you? An alien, perhaps? You're the ones looking for the pure heart, Squirple? Hmm, cuter than I thought. How do you know about the pure heart? And about us? Are you allied with Count Black? I demand answers. No, scary faces. You can call me Squirps. I am your captain, Squirk. And if you want the pure heart, we need to look together, Squirp. Whatever do you mean? Please, explain yourself. Squirps can't tell much now, but you must tr trust Squirps. Now follow me, Squinks. We won't be doing that. We just met you and Squack. You, you heed the captain. You're a space grunt now, and that is the only rule. Your only responsibility should be yes sir and gotcha. Understand that, Squirkle? Yes, sir. Squa <laughs> Looks like you understand understand your place. Squirp. Are you okay with this? Uh I guess so. If you say so. Great. Let's get ready then. Squirp for motion Squirp formation. Squiggle. We'll squarp directly to the pure heart. It's like warping, except Squirps invented it. In order to squarp, we need a lot of energy. Squirk! You're all brimming with power-up power, right? You must give it to Squirps. Press A to give Squirps your power-up power. Press, uh, press and hold A until you think you've built up enough power-up power, then release. Okay. Is this good? Um... I, I, I feel <laughs> until you feel the power. I feel the power. I'm really feeling it. Success. Oh, oh okay. And here we go. Squarp. Okay, that things happened rather quickly, and I have no idea like what even this thing that is. Warping or sorry, squarping us is, but I guess we'll trust it. Squall? We're not even close to our destination, Squoops. Is that all the power power you have, Squirp? Good for nothing, Space Grunt. Squirps was an idiot for thinking you had more. Well, good for nothings have their own good for nothing way of moving, Squank. There's a ways to go before you reach the pure heart. You must space swim. Use two to shoot enemies with my Squirp Squirt Beam. Squirp, fire, Space Grunt. Charge! Okay, we're playing. We're playing an old Asteroids game, kind of. I can deal with this. I like space shooters. I actually played one on the channel recently. It was called Reef. It's pretty fun. So I guess I, I can deal with this. Killing all the aliens. Because if they don't look like us, we must we must kill them. Because they obviously pose a threat. 
I mean, we won't even have to try, um, like, peaceful communication. All we have to do is shoot them. Yeah. You die. Oh, there are a bunch of, a bunch of them. And they shall all meet their end. Oh, boy. Yeah. I killed them. Got a bunch of points. Uh, okay, there's another warp point. Let's go through. I mean, this is an interesting change of pace, but I'm actually looking to do some platforming here. Because this game is a platformer. Although it's not a very hard one. I haven't really had a challenging time thus far. Except for that one part where I died. But that wasn't really challenging as it was me not knowing what to do. And being ill-prepared. Okay, let's kill these things. I suppose next time I see an enemy, I should probably bio it. It seems like a good idea. Speaking of bioing, these enemies, what are they? What are they? That is a Jellion. It is a strange gelatinous, or gelatinous, gelatinous creature that floats about in space. HP is 4, attack is 2, it drifts lazily towards potential morsels. It moves slowly, so watch it carefully and you should be able to avoid it, or kill it! Oop, wait. Die, fool! Ha! You're no match for me. What are you guys? What are you? Come on, bio? That photon is a space organism that is orbited by small blue particles. Matt's HP is uh, 8, attack is 2, when it seems sense danger. Well, shouldn't be much of a problem unless you get surrounded by them. Got it? Let's just kill it. And not get hurt. We'll see how far I can go without getting touched. I'm doing a pretty, pretty bang-up job of it already, so... It should be pretty easy to uh, keep up that momentum. Okay, got that. Let's go through the other warp point. Now, there are multiple warp points, so this is some sort of like a maze. Ooh, what are those? What are those? What are those? They look like something you draw with stencils when you're a little kid. That's a warpid, a being of pure energy that can warp through space. HP is 10, attack is 2. It'll pursue any new discovery. Don't allow yourself to be mesmerized by its slowly undulating lines. I won't, because... It'll be mes mesmerized by my explosions. Or I guess it's their explosions, because they're exploding. Or they will be when I explode them. Um, I went the wrong way. Let's let's go this way. Uh, is this the way? Let's just shoot more of these sten stencil monsters. Oh boy, I'm kind of penned in here. Die. Die. They have a lot of HP. Hey, attack one by one. Actually, I have an idea. This is a good this is a good question. Will Bowser deal more damage? This is a really good question. I I couldn't tell. It was blocked out by the the score. He does, I believe, because Mario is doing um 3 damage. So, Bowser I guess is the guy to have in here because there's no difference in their mobility and he just does more damage outright. So I guess I'll stick with Bow the Bowser carry combo. Let's kill that. And keep on keeping on. I wonder what Bowser thinks of this, you know? That there are other places yet to be conquered by Lord Bowser and stuff. I feel like he would think this is an amazing discovery. That there are more people he can subjugate, subjugate to do his will. To kidnap Peach. Although he should probably already knows about these guys because of, uh of, uh, Mario Galaxy. I don't know if that's happened yet in the canon. It's really sad that Mario has a storyline that's basically the same story told over and over again. Yeah, die. I'm doing really well here, actually, and speaking of doing really well, we're at the end of the level? How long did that take? Let me look at my timer here. That took nine minutes. Okay. Well, because we just had a long episode, I'm actually going to end it here. Yeah, I apologize, but I'm also pre-recording these because I'm going to be gone over the next week, so I think that I'm going to wrap it up here. That way I don't have to record that much because I am I'm very busy getting ready for my trip. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of... 
Super Paper Mario, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Saturdays are periodically ABOs, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Super Paper Mario.